Hey guys, today we're going to learn about King Kamehameha Day. Have you ever seen so many flowers in one place? Wow! Do you know what holiday they're celebrating? What? It's King Kamehameha Day. Oh. King Kamehameha Day is celebrated in the islands of Hawaii on June 11th every year. The holiday has been around for a really long time. It was established by King Kamehameha V in 1871. And no, he did not start a holiday to honor himself. The holiday honors his grandfather, King Kamehameha I. King Kamehameha was a very important leader in Hawaiian history. He was the first ever king of Hawaii and a fearless, powerful warrior. Before King Kamehameha, each island was its own kingdom ruled by different people and the islands would often battle with each other. But with his strength and his intelligence, King Kamehameha was able to unite all the islands under his rule in 1810. Together, the islands were much stronger. In 1959, Hawaii became a U.S. state, and King Kamehameha Day became a state holiday. In Hawaii, people celebrate by wearing lei, like this. Nice. Lei are made from flowers strung together. Hawaiians wear them to celebrate all sorts of occasions, big and small. And on King Kamehameha Day, people hang lei on statues of King Kamehameha II. Wow! Hawaiians also celebrate the holiday with festivals, parades, music, hula dancing, and food. And of course, they celebrate with their families. June 11, 2022 will be the 150th King Kamehameha Day. So make sure to celebrate. Until next time, bye. Nanea and Leilani. Come on, Leilani, Nanea said. It's time. Today was the day, King Kamehameha Day. Leilani had been preparing for this day all year. Today was the day she would finally ride with the Pa'u riders in the floral parade. She was so excited, even if it meant she had to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Leilani's older sister Nanea had been a Pa'u princess many times. The Pa'u riders chose a princess to represent each of the eight islands of Hawaii. This was Nanea's eighth time. She had ridden for every island. After this ride, you can be the Pa'u queen, right? Leilani asked. Nanea nodded. That's right, she said proudly. As her sister wrapped a pa'u skirt around her, Leilani started to think. What if she slipped? What if her horse refused to move? What if she slipped and her horse refused to move? Nanea didn't seem even a little bit nervous. Leilani wished she could say the same. She wanted to be confident like her sister. Nanea fastened Leilani's pa'u with the last kukui nut. Remember all the times we practiced together at the ranch? Nanea said. Yes, but, Leilani replied. You worked so hard, Nanea said. You practiced and practiced. You are ready. Leilani lifted her shoulders and nodded. She was ready. She could be nervous and ready. Leilani, Nanea, and the others put on their lei and stepped out into the hot sun. It was time for the parade to start. Leilani tried to get on her horse, but she slipped down. Her big skirt was getting in the way. She could feel her face getting red but she took a deep breath and tried again. She was up. Leilani's heart was pounding as their horses started to walk down the crowded street. 
but their lines were straight. It was just like they practiced. Remember, Nanea whispered, smile. Leilani didn't feel like smiling, but she did it. Everywhere along the street, people smiled back at her. Suddenly, smiling was a lot easier. But wait, why wasn't Nanea smiling? Nanea, what's wrong? Leilani whispered. Nanea was tugging at her pa'u. It was tangled up in her saddle. Her horse started to slow down. Leilani, cover for me, Nanea said. Leilani knew what she had to do. She took a deep breath and rode forward. She took her sister's spot in the very front of the parade. Leilani smiled as big as she could and greeted everyone in the crowd. All eyes were on her. No one even noticed as Nanea slowed down and fixed her pa'u. Soon enough, Nanea came riding back to the front. Nanea didn't look upset at all. She was still smiling and waving. It was like nothing ever happened. The two sisters rode side by side until the end of the parade. After the parade, the sisters hopped up their horses as fast as they could and crushed each other into big hugs. You did it, they said at the same time. Then they laughed. You're a pa'u queen now, Leilani cheered. Only because you helped me. Nanea said, we did it. And next year, they will do it again. The end. We know we've been saving for a long time for a special vacation. And we think we've found the perfect place. But you can't say a word until our presentation is over. We can't say anything. That's four words. Okay, let's hear it. Misaki and Sophia present Hawaii. Hawaii's not just about building sandcastles on the beach and playing in the water. There's a lot we can learn that we can't learn anywhere else. Like Hawaii is the only state in the entire United States that's totally surrounded by water. It's a group of islands. Okay, we know it's far, like similar to the distance from Los Angeles to New York, across the United States. But because it's in the middle of an ocean, very far away, it's remote. Doesn't that sound exciting? Speaking of exciting, the islands of Hawaii were made by, wait for it, volcanoes! Want to know how to make a volcano? Start with a hole in the Earth's crust. Then push lava or melted rock up through the hole. Be careful, it's really hot. Let lava cool. And ta-da! Volcanic islands, ready for your vacation. Did you know that many Hawaiians believe in a goddess named Pele? She is the goddess of fire and volcanoes. I am Pele! Goddess of volcanoes and fire. I can make the lava flow. Ahem. I said I can make the lava. <laughs> it's okay. Pele will protect you. If we go, we don't have to pack as many clothes because it's warm all year. It's the perfect climate for shorts and sundresses. Even in the winter. And if we go to Hawaii, We'll get to eat things we've never tried before, like the taro root. Taro plants grow all over the islands. The roots are made into a Hawaiian food called poi. Making poi is something people have been doing for years and years. It's a tradition. Ta-da! Obachan helped us. Mmm, this is delicious. Hawaii is called the Aloha State. Aloha means love. Aloha also means hello and goodbye. Another tradition we could experience in Hawaii is the luau. 
which is a celebration. People celebrate all sorts of occasions with a luau, graduations, weddings, birthdays, and more. But one thing is always the same. They're filled with family, friends, and food. Ohana, which is the word for family, is super important when you live on a remote island. Maybe that's why Hawaiians have so many luau. Things that are important to you are called values. Hawaiians also value friendship. When we go there on our vacation, we'll be treated as friends and welcomed with a lei. That's a necklace of flowers. Lei are more than just a necklace. They're the ultimate symbol of aloha spirit. And we can't go all the way to Hawaii without trying one of its most famous traditions, surfing. Hawaiians have been surfing for hundreds of years. In fact, they invented it. We can experience some of the things Hawaiians believe in, things they think are important, and their traditions. That's their culture. So if you want a little Hawaiian culture in your vacation, join us in voting Yes, yes for, for Hawaii. Hawaii. Yes. Hawaii, here we come. Hooray! Yay! <laughs> Isaki's Hawaiian Vacation. We're going to Hawaii for our trip. Here are some fun things to remember. Poi is a traditional Hawaiian food made from... Drag the correct word to the blank. Pineapples. Taro root. Flowers. Taro root. Poi is a traditional Hawaiian food made from taro root. Hawaii is the only U.S. state that is made completely of lakes, trees, islands, islands. Hawaii is the only U.S. state that is made completely of islands. When families gather for food and dancing in Hawaii, it is called a lei. Poi. Luau. Luau. When families gather for food and dancing in Hawaii, it is called a luau. The things that people believe in, things they think are important, and their traditions make up their culture, work, vacation, culture. The things that people believe in, things they think are important, and their traditions make up their culture. It's a tradition to give visitors to Hawaii a... Lei. Volcano. Taro root. Lei. It's a tradition to give visitors to Hawaii a lei. The Hawaiian islands were created by... Water, volcanoes, glaciers, volcanoes. The Hawaiian islands were created by volcanoes. Looks like we're all ready to go. Wonderful.